So today we've got a 2011 Volkswagen Golf 2.5 panoramic sunroof. Sunroof is not closing. It is a mess. We're trying to unmess it right now. Uh, so if you've ever wanted a few tips on how to do this, you're going to find out right now. So before we get started, let's just talk about how a sunroof works. With any sunroof system, we have a few pieces that are pretty common to all manufacturers, the sunroof panel, and then we have the motor, which we're using this little gear diagram to represent. It's usually tucked in behind the front windshield in front of the panel. Next up are a couple slides, then some pivots, and of course the cables. The cables are fairly complex in as much as that they are made of metal, yet they're flexible and they are capable of pushing and pulling. They pull the load easily, but pushing it back requires the cables to actually transfer the load through the cables to the sunroof. But of course things go wrong from time to time. It could be as simple as an obstruction in the slide causing the problem to as complicated as a plastic piece breaking somewhere causing everything to go out of whack. The end result is never pretty though. Proper repair of the sunroof is to take the headliner down, which is the panel, the interior panel inside the vehicle, and drop the whole sunroof out of the car. Uh, the whole sunroof assembly is bolted from the underside in in a big tray assembly with the motors and cables. So we really don't want to be taking the headliner down on this today because it is just a temporary fix. It's Friday on a long weekend. Uh, our quest today is just to get this closed. So we don't know what's wrong with it at this point, so we're just going to try the utmost obvious, which is to remove the motor, free the cables, and see if we can just push the roof forward and get the cables to realign and pop the motor back in. What's the plan now, Terry? Try and adjust the cables and put the motor back in. With the motor out, the cables are capable of spinning freely are moving freely so we've aligned the roof rails the tracks to it's even on each side now we're going to put the motor back in and we're going to see how with the glass out we're going to see how the tracks move so we're trying to get it to engage with the the cables, the cables right now uh, unfortunately we still have a problem the sunroof slides forward and then hits a obstruction and then auto reverses back well, this bar here Go straight across okay and right here it makes a 90 degree turn straight down okay but on the other side this one okay, I'm gonna zoom in. Yeah. oh yeah so it's definitely bent upwards right yep. and you see the angle that it's on okay so you think that this piece here is bent so it's not allowing them to go down the hill which allows the back section to close so we're going to try and uh, vice grip it we'll try to vice grip it put it back straight All right. i don't think you're going to be able to bend that as easily you think you're going to be able to bend it no not so easy no. something bent that real hard we are most definitely not going to be able to bend that not a chance not without some serious serious horsepower on that and chances of breaking something scratching something are pretty uh, pretty high so we're gonna try and take the motor back out again and we're going to attempt to put the uh, with the motor out we're going to attempt to just sort of force the uh, um, the rails forward uh, there we've determined the passenger side is completely bent right now we're just into close uh, close roof Get out the hammer. Uh, drop glass in, clean up our mess, and we're out of here. Right? Yeah. Oh, so the glass is back in now. Uh, we're just putting the final screws back in. We're going to put the motor back in, but we're going to leave it disconnected. Uh, the reason for that is the repair for the sunroof is pretty pretty costly. 
Uh, we're going to strand it in the closed position so that the uh, fellow doesn't accidentally open it and create this whole mess again. Anyways, this is Tech Tip Tuesday. It's Terry and I doing this one. Well, it's not Terry and I, it's Terry doing this one. I'm just documenting it, right Terry? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And uh, it's a long weekend and we're going to get out of here shortly.